I had this longing. And I didn't know where to go for my future. I had five children who had to go to college um, on one salary of my husband. I had been a student. I wasn't bringing income. What studies and luxury, should I, should I not? But also, what, what should I do? And there was this longing that had no name, that I had no name and no context for, living at this point in Denver and growing up in Israel. So I went to Rabbi Daniel Goldberger. Rabbi Goldberger was a friend, an Orthodox, modern Orthodox rabbi, who took leave from puppet work of the one of the largest, most distinguished congregations in Denver, because he wanted to study pastoral care, because he felt that as a rabbi in today's world, this was an important role that he was called to do. No one was doing it in those days. This is the 70s. Certainly no Orthodox rabbis I know were studying pastoral counseling, but he did, and he was a beautiful human being. So I went to him and said, I have this dilemma. I have this secret that I have to share with someone, and I don't know what to do with it. And I sat there, and I couldn't bring the words. And he must have thought there was something dreadful there. And I finally said, I'm going to cry now. I want to live a holy life. I want to live a life where there is a holiness and intimate relation with the tradition and with God. And there's no word for it for a woman. 